¿Qué tal? Cuernos. Eh, para qué más. ¿Qué contáis? What's up, my friend? Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Up. And today we're talking superheroes for development. And I'm joined by a special friend of mine from the island of Barbados, Junior Burgess, who is one of the superheroes. Um, Junior, welcome, first of all. Thank you, Golda. Tell it's us a, a pleasure little, to be here. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your project. Well, my project is called Skills for the Future Program. Skills for the Future Program was designed to support the human resource development strategy. And it has four components. The component we presented for the superheroes program is component one, support for an employer-driven training system. Right. So that surrounds having a conversation with the employers, assessing what their needs are, and then developing a program to meet their needs. And that program is a competency-based program. It looks at providing their employees with certification leading to a Caribbean or national vacation qualification. Now it sounds like a big job and a huge task. Uh, tell us about some of the challenges that you encountered along the way. Well, it is indeed a big task. I think, to my mind, one of the first challenges we encountered was convincing the private sector that this was a worthwhile initiative. Uh, the, the private sector had, I will phrase it as, you know, that level of concern or distrust surrounding the public sector. And they said, well, we've tried this before. We've worked with you before. And it didn't work well because there were too many delays, the bureaucratic process impeding on the project, stuff along those lines. So our first hurdle was to convince them that this was a worthwhile effort. And you have managed to convince them, and you have had some success uh, to this date. So tell us about your successes. What have you been able to achieve? So when it was conceptualized, the results framework said, if we awarded 14 projects, we would have been successful. It also said, if in the first year we got two persons to be awarded a partnership, it would have been successful. In the first year that we implemented cycle one, we had 30 applicants, over 30 applicants actually, and we awarded seven partnerships. Over the life of this um, project, we have awarded 30 partnerships. So for us, that is indeed a success. Sounds so, but I want to get down to the whole issue of improving lives, because that's what the IDB is about. Let's talk about the individuals, a little bit about the individuals who've been impacted by this project. Uh, any success stories there? Well, success stories can start from companies, or we can come down to one individual. So let's start with a company and then come down to an individual. Sounds good. Uh, one company that we are very proud of is the Barbados Port Inc. They are responsible for uh, managing ships and stuff that come into the harbor, offloading containers, stuff along those lines. Uh, the Barbados Port Inc. was one of our most successful partnerships to date. Uh, and after they trained their employees, uh, and Steve Adorian and stuff along those lines, they report to us now that there's a reduction in the number of accidents that occurs since the training has taken place. They also report that it now takes the stevedores less time to unpack a container, which, as you would know, will result in greater efficiencies and also productivity and will impact the bottom line because if you can un unstuff faster, you can do more, and that means more money for you. So that was one success story from a company perspective. From an individual perspective, one of the stories we will be sharing in our presentation today with the superheroes is one of a guy called Stalin Reese. Stalin graduated school with no certificates, zero certificates. Like a lot of Caribbean people. Correct. But Stalin has a skill. And Stalin was employed in a shop as a butcher. Now, uh, we would appreciate that without skills, your mobility is limited. Well, not skills. That's incorrect. Without certification, that your mobility is limited. And that was Stalin's situation. Additionally, the ability to earn what we think we should earn as Caribbean people, that was impacted. But with this training, Stalin was able to achieve a certificate in bushery level two. Stalin is now a role model in his world of work. Stalin is training other persons as to the best methods to utilize. Stalin has gone on now to, be, to do the train of trainer programs so that he can also train persons in the classroom itself. Stalin is also going to become an assessor and a verifier. Stalin has improved his life. The IDB motto you started, stated up front. Yes. He has improved his life. And now he has the opportunity now to also aid in improving others' life. Yes. So Stalin is one of our success stories of this project. And there are others. But he stands out to my mind. 
Thank you so much, Junior, for coming by and sharing your project ideas with us. It definitely sounds like it was a very successful project, and we hope that its benefits can continue long into the future. So that's where we leave you on this episode of What's Up. The superheroes for development are being featured in this episode, and we are very excited about the work being done in Barbados, connecting skills, training, and certification.